Hi everyone, this is Anton Collignon and today we're going to take a look on how you can scatter things around your, your scene with Redshift. Uh, I'm a long time uh, Octane Render user and one thing that I really miss from it uh, is the Octane Scatter. Uh, in Redshift there is no uh, built-in plugin that allows you to, to scatter things around. So you need to use the basic uh, Cinema 4D tools. To, to scatter things. So let's take a look on how, how you can do that. So you first eat to MoGraph and you set the matrix cloner and uh, in the mode you select object. So here I'm just going to use this plane here. Okay, it's a basic plane. And you can see some particle here, some scattering. Okay, so if you want to actually make it to the render, you need to add um, a redshift tag here and set a redshift object. And in the particle tab, you select custom object to have to, to put your geometry like rocks, uh, grass, whatever you want. Um, for here, to just see if it works, I'm going to use the spheres and stances, increase the size, and you can see here it's working pretty flawlessly. So. I'm going to to take some some grass from a from a quicksell bridge. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, resize this. Okay. So this is my grass and you can use your custom object and now you will drag and drop those objects here okay <coughs> and of course you need to reduce the scale multi multiplier and you can see here it's you get your your stuff so the, the one way to do it is a bit brute force. You just increase the count and you also disable align clone. This way it looks up. And uh, yeah, you can just, you know, play around with the count. And um, to add a bit more vi variation, you can use the random effect. So with the random, I will just use the scale in uniform and just add just a little bit of uh, variation, maybe a bit more. And rotation <coughs> 360 just to to make it look more with more var variation. But I like to use actually the um, I will I will just let the, the rotation, but I like to use the uh, shader shader mode uh, here. I think this is the best to have more control over the shape <coughs> of the of, of of your scatter. So let me check if it's there. Shader and uh, in shader you just need to take visibility. Okay, and let me just disable the render a few minutes. So now, uh, in the par parameter of the shader, I'm going to untick scale, okay? So now you, you can see all the cubes here are, are rotated by the random, so we keep this. But in the shader, you want to set the shader here, custom shader, to noise, okay? This is the basic maxon noise. And the way it works is basically the white is what is going to to scatter, so it's it act it act like the like a texture. <coughs> I'm going to use this one and a bigger. Okay, and increase the count here. Okay, now let's fire up a render to see how it looks. And what's great with this one is that you can increase the, the shading in real time and see how you want to, to scatter it, you know. So you have nice 
nice var variation, you know. And if you increase or decrease the count, it will it will follow those those shapes, you know. Like if I go crazy with, yeah, it's just a bit too much and it, it overlap, but you get the idea. It follow the the shapes, you know. But even with this, I can use the shader to actually you know so this is super useful and I, I really like this one and after that you can also draw uh, rocks and whatnot you know uh, different type of plant and yeah you get the ID okay this is how I work with uh, scattering <coughs> on redshift so yeah let me know what you think and uh, cheers <laughs>